so previously on Crochet Man, Sam is pulled off one last score to try and uh, retire by a pot of land and grow courgettes. He has um he, he even has like a room that's just like courgette memorabilia. And you know he the, the auction's in a couple days for the land. And then he gets robbed. Also, you can see it now, but new banner. Anyway, he gets robbed, so he has to do one last job, where he's robbing, because he robs, uh, Clarine. Like, he, he steals Clarine from pool houses. Um, and on a side note, I'd like to, in the future, yeah, never mind, never mind. It, that, uh, well, well, if it's in the future, we'll do it then. Uh, so he's meant to, to steal Clarine from the pool house of a mansion. And whenever he's, you know, open up the buckets, they're like laced with gold. Because, you know, this is a big fucking job. But he's moving the buckets around. He discovers a body. And he gets spooked and it's trying to you know just fuck off you can hear the dogs coming and that's that's where we are <clears throat> exterior mansion later sam unthinking sprints for the rope back over the wall and sets off a security alarm he's struggling to pull himself up with the weight of the gold, you can hear dogs barking in the distance. They grow ever closer, nipping at his heels, and as he abandons the grappling hook to flop over the wall and sprint towards the getaway van. He motions for Manny to go ahead and start moving, and then jumps into the car. Interior. Van. Continuous. Sam sinks down in the back, trying to stash a bag in its contents. Manny. What happened? I don't know. I grabbed the stuff all well and good, and then there's a corpse. I thought you didn't kill people. I didn't. It was just kind of there, amongst the barrels. You don't have to lie to me. I'm not! Just tell me when it's safe to sit up front again. Did you trip an alarm? Yeah. Did you not hear the dogs and all? I uh, did. I just want to make sure you understand why you don't get to sit in the front. Stay back there and feel ashamed. Sam slumps, but gives a weary smile at the bag. It's fucking gold. Exterior. Vacant lot. The next day. Sam, a duffel bag slung over his shoulder, shakes hands with Manny as he exits back of the van. Wow, that was a really quick turnaround for a very specific item. Rich people are weird. Right, so I need to get to the farm before they auction it off. Kaburya Van? Absolutely not. Well, can you give me a lift? No, I have things to do. Can I at least borrow your cell? You can't expect me to walk. Money grunts and holds out his flip phone. Sam holds his breath as he dials a number. So it begins to ring. He glances towards Manny, then turns around and puts some distance between them. Ma'am, can you come pick me up? I'm borrowing a friend's phone. No, I... Just please come to where the old cinema used to be. Interior. Best car. Later. Sam tosses his bag into the boot. And slides into the front. His mom, Beth, gives him a look. And clears her throat. The car is bright blue, is a bright blue smart car that barely fits her bag, or him for that matter. What's that there now? My my bag? Just some clothes. You wouldn't be lying now. Matt, can we just go? 
You know, I need to get that option soon. Ah, you can spare the time for a nice meal at home. I can't really. If I don't catch them in business hours, I might miss the opportunity to grab it before the auction. I hardly see you. Off you in my car. My hospitality. And this is how you treat me. All right. All right. But can we go to a diner instead of taking the time to cook? Spoils you are. Fine. Interior. Diner. Later. Sam and Beth are sitting in a booth with food in front of them. There's an awkward silence, and it seems they've just run out of small talk. Sam sips his water, but Sam sips his water, avoiding eye contact. So what's with the duffel bag? Sam does a spit take. I'm not going to do that. My laptop's right in front of me. But Sam does a spit take and needs a moment to put words together. Well, I have to pay for the lamb somehow. Have you heard of a bank? It's a bit dangerous running around with all that money. Well, that's why I'd like to get there as soon as possible. No excuse not to have a nice meal with your mother, money or not. Sam motions for the check, but that waves away the server. What's this about? Why is it so important to get this? You're young yet. There's still plenty of opportunities for you. Especially with a duffel bag full of cash. The soil in this ranch is perfect for raising courgettes. And there's... There's not another like it in the market. Crochets, crochets, crochets. Won't you fucking let that die? It's all I have left of him. So of course you'd, of course you'd like that. Can we change the subject? No, no, this is important to me. And I won't let you stomp all over it. I was under the impression I already lent you my car. The principle of it. All right. Do you want me to drive you up there? No. No. Like you said, it'll be dangerous, and it'll it'll be safer if it was just me. Are you calling me a liability? I mean, if someone's trying to rob me, that means I'd have twice as much to worry about getting shot, and only half of which able to hold a gun. I can hold a gun. Fire one as well. I'm not going to question why or how, but in any case, we only have one of them. Beth gives him a sly look, raising an eyebrow with a smile. Interior, best house, basement. Oh yeah, well I was just I was writing this down. I was thinking of the Truman Show. Uh, they walk down. Old, musty wooden steps and flip on a single light in the middle of the room. It's a bare room filled with junk on the concrete floor. Matt pushes some junk out of the way, making Sham help her lift up and move a large, heavy trunk. She does a series of knocks in the wall, which results in a click. The wall is pulled back to reveal. A room filled to the brim with guns. Why? Just in case. In case of what? An invasion? Oh. So what should I grab? How much do we need? Uh, do, do you have a handgun? Really, any more is overkill. You have no sense of adventure. I have a definite sense of going to prison. Just give me a moment and we'll be on the road. Interior. Best car. Later. Sam is driving, looking <laughs> deeply stressed, while Beth takes a nap in the passenger seat. His knuckles tighten every time the guardie passes him. Beth stirs and looks around. Ugh. What's, what's, what's taking you so long? Well, we have two handguns and a large amount of cash. 
I'd rather not get pulled up. Ah, fish. You can speed up some. Pull over here, I'll drive. If you're planning on speeding, absolutely not. But you want to get there quickly. At this rate, we won't get there at all. No, the only way we'll, we won't get there at all is if we get arrested. Fair play. Just l let me know when we get there. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Because I was like, well, if, if it's, it's, it's a farm somewhere. So uh, where, what, what's a place in the Midlands? <laughs> the Barack Obama Plaza. <laughs> oh, I I can't speak to how accurate the section is. I, I I I've I haven't felt the uh inclination to go visit the Barack Obama Plaza because it's it's a thing, but <clears throat> anyways, exterior the Barack Obama Plaza. Evening. Sam, yawning. Pulls it. Oh. oh, excuse me. Pulls into the plaza for petrol and a chicken fillet roll. Good man. Beth is still asleep in the passenger seat. Sam knocks on the window as he goes ahead on side. Matt, do you want anything from inside? Chicken fillet roll? Yeah, and some tater as well. Sam nods and heads inside. While he's getting a cup of coffee, he notices two hooded figures creeping up to the car. He sets down his cup and steps closer to the front of the store to watch them. A gunshot rings out as he dashes outside, firing at the figures. And that's the uh that's that's where we are so far. So <clears throat> 